We have broken a record uh, in, in, in seven months, what was the case all of last year. Border Patrol apprehensions topping 100,000 for the second month in a row. April had the highest monthly total of apprehensions in 12 years. And again, we're only seven months into this year. The U.S. Border Patrol Chief Carla Provost joins us right now. Chief, thank you for taking the time. Thanks for having me, Neil. What do you think is driving it? Uh, well, there are a lot of factors driving it, but I, I think the message is really loud and clear when it comes particularly to the family units that if you bring a child, you're going to be released into the country. So this move that was held by a judge to support the president's move to, to keep anyone who's trying to enter here in Mexico until all of it is adjudicated, how will that change your job or will it? Uh, well, it, being able to um, send some of them back to Mexico while they are waiting is certainly helping, but the numbers are not sufficient for what we're apprehending. So when, when you hear these cases of children, there were sporadic reports that, that they were someone else's kids, that they were essentially being used uh, as pawns in this. And uh, I, I don't know if there's any way to ascertain that, but it's just made your job a mess. It certainly has. We are seeing numerous cases. We've seen over 3,500 cases of fraud uh, thus far this year. Um, it is a very sad situation when they are exploiting these children so that they can get across. So uh, the president has requested another four, a quarter, four and a half billion dollars in emergency aid that's needed at the border. Democrats have said, the son that I uh, talked to, Chief, uh, uh, as long as it's not for a wall. I, I don't think the administration has stressed that one way or the other. It sounds like folks like you could use it right at these centers. Uh, we certainly need the money. Um, our, right now, I'm having to use my operational budget to fund this humanitarian mission. And at all costs, really, the humanitarian mission is having a negative impact on our national security. As I'm having to pull my men and women away, 40 percent of their time is being spent dealing with taking care of these families, processing the families. The border security mission, the mission that we were hired for, is suffering. So if I'm trying to get into this country illegally, that's the magic pill right there. I'll, I'll bring my whole family and get you sidetrack dealing with that for perfectly humanitarian noble reasons um, and there's your floodgate it certainly is i testified yesterday in front of congress asking them to act we've got to stop talking about it we need action and we need a fix we need to be able to detain families together throughout the immigration process or the numbers are going to continue to increase i expect that we will surpass a half a million apprehensions this weekend uh, th those are just off the chart numbers to your point, Chief. Uh, and I'm, I'm wondering now if the added element is this family issue and then the separation of families earlier uh, that has just complicated things. I mean, you guys are trying to do everything by the book and be fair and decent to everyone, but it just seems like you're overwhelmed. So uh, among some of the ideas I heard uh, giving you more personnel, would that make a big difference or what would? Well, we certainly need more personnel. Uh, we need a lot more resources across the board, but we need a fix to this. Border Patrol can't do this alone. I need Congress to act. I need them to take care of the situation when it comes to the Flores Settlement Agreement. Allow us to detain families together throughout the immigration process. Uh, we just cannot continue with these pull factors that are bringing these huge numbers to our country. But detain those families together, never separating them uh, in Mexico, not the United States. Uh, even if we could detain them in the United States, that would help. But I can tell you my partners at ICE need the, the uh, beds to be able to hold these individuals as well. Uh, others have suggested just bring down and hire a bunch of judges to deal with all of this, to get the process going, or administrators who could just deal with, you know, the, the, just the sheer volume and paperwork involved. We definitely need the judges as well, but there is no way to get through the entire process within the 20 days that we are currently allowed to detain families. So we need Congress to do something to change that. Uh, well, it seems that you've got a crisis at the border. It seems like you've got an emergency at the do. border. Um, the president, a lot of people were criticized for stating that. It sounds like you unequivocally agree with that. I, I do unequivocally agree. And it's only getting worse. And not only do, are we seeing rise in uh, the family 
groups that are coming across and the unaccompanied children. We're up 23 percent this year with single adults crossing the border too. So we must maintain the ability to deliver a consequence to that group or those numbers will skyrocket. That's well put. Uh, Chief, that's not a right or left thing. That's just a human decency thing. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Thank you for all your hard work and, and all your people. It's not easy. I can understand getting caught in the middle of all of this. Uh, Chief Carla Prados, the U.S. Border